Creed champion. Andy Holt would be the lightest in history if he was to win here tonight. The final instructions from our centre referee, Nobuaki Kakura. Morocco versus the Netherlands. Bonjaski versus Badahari. Look at the stare down from Badahari. He looks ready for business. Bonjaski refusing to engage. Refusing to look in the eyes of the Devil Prince as they call Badahari here in Japan. We are set. Three by three minute rounds to determine the Fields K1 World Grand Prix 2008 King of Kings. The time for talk is over. Michael Chevello, Mike Kogan, Sugar Ray Sefo, and the all-time greatest yeah! Ernesto Hoost with your ringside. Yeah! Here we go, the final of the K1 World Grand Prix. Who will draw first blood? Who will go down and throw the aggressive shots, throw the heavy artillery? The key here for Butter again is his jab. I think that's the key for him here. Because everything he throws after that is nothing but picture perfect. men have a lot of respect for each other they are well aware of each other's abilities having fought in the quarterfinals last year when Remy Benjaski emerged as a controversial decision winner over Badahari after he tenderized Badahari's legs for three rounds Hari sticks that jab beautiful jab the best jab you'll find in K1 with the K1 world's heavyweight champion a few more jabs of that I'd like to see a jab right up a cut come, come with it Oh, Remy saw the round kick coming. Nice combination work. He is faster than a speeding ticket. Is but a hurry. And mean intention. I mean, look at his punches and kick. I mean, he's throwing them with a mean intention. You know, he's not here to score points. He wants a KO. Absolutely. Absolutely. And he's flat footed. So I mean, he's trying, you know, it's all power coming in. Let's not forget in his previous two fights here tonight, Bunjaski has started slow against Labana. He also started slow against Gokan Saki and ended up picking up the pace in the second round and ending both fights devastatingly. What I think uh, he does very good, Remy, is he keep on, keeps on coming forward, keeps on putting the pressure on Butter. Right. No matter Butter is scoring or not, but Remy is keep on coming forward. Now they're starting. Nice leg kick from Remy after Banahari worked the Muay Thai clinch in the high knee, looking for the jawline, again chops across the lead quadricep area. And that's a good call from Anissa, which what we said earlier, that the key for Remy here is special. Oh, he tags him! Well, we talked about his jaw, and that was a more like a slap, and he went down. Whatever he was, he's down. Yeah. But, you know, that, that seems to ignite him. I mean, you know, look for Bada to be like, okay, this is not going to happen again. Bada uses the count, takes a bit of a break. He's back onto his feet. Will we see a repeat of the Zimmerman fight here? Will Bada score a knockdown now? 45 seconds remaining here in the first round of three. I think Remy's defense a little bit more tighter than Zimmerman's. They both take their time. Well, Remy is definitely fighting the right fight. He's patient. He's taking his time. Yeah, yeah, look at Remy. I mean, he's a smart guy. You know, he's right. like, hey, this is a 10-8 round. I'm not doing anything else. You know. Absolutely. Jab again from Butter at full extension. Those very long arms of the K1 World's Heavyweight Champion. For our U.S. fans, it's equivalent of taking a knee. If anything that Butter needs to take away from this fight or from Remy is his defense. And Potter actually stepped back and dropped his hands, which really caught him with the left hook. And what she just did, he just went body, you know, head, head, body. Oh, light shot after the bell there. And Remy threw his hands up and said, what's going on, son? End of the first round, we go to the towels. Ernesto, 10-8 round there for Remy. Uh, I'll see this 10-8 round, yep. Without any doubt. Left hand to the jawline, put him on rubber legs, jumping round kick, missed the target. He was going down already from that left hand right. Absolutely. I mean, and I mean, Ray wasn't even looking when he threw that left to no. And it looked more like a slap. Yeah. It was a Hail Mary shot, and he caught him with the inside of the gloves, and the prayer paid off. You well, know, maybe what? the problem is that uh, Buddy better got a, a, a heart down from, from Zimmerman, and maybe that's what, why he got down now also. Absolutely. But, you know, like we say in the fight game, Minister, and you know this just, you know, better than anybody else also, is that lucky shots count in our game. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not. For sure. We are ready to rock and roll. Second round Hello, of three. All three judges officially giving the first yeah. round 10-8 yeah. to Remy Bonjaski as we thought. Second round. But I really needs to work now in the next two rounds to be able to, you know, get a 
a extra round decision. Because right now, you know, he is two points down. Yeah. And I think he will. I mean, like, you know, as Ernesto said, after knockdowns, you know, he, he's a good comeback guy. He yeah. puts that pressure on him, uh, you know, to perform. Jam two from Butter forces Remy back against the ropes. Remy cracked to the outside five. Butter with the knee. And they are juking it out from the get go here in the second. Here comes Hurry. Up and count from the bad boy. Remy Bunjaski forced to backtrack. They spill to the canvas. Oh, but Hurry. What's going on? What's going on? Ivan Hippolyte. Ivan Hippolyte having to be restrained ringside here. But hurry losing the plot right. Oh, uh, come on, Remy. Remy is, I mean, that didn't land, I don't think. Surely Remy's Remy's done. Done. Remy's Remy's not going to milk this, though. Remy, are you okay? What? Is he going to milk this, Remy? Oh, absolutely. It didn't look to be that hard to me. I mean, no, bad he... tactics, and Butter hurry needs to be severely cautioned here. Uh, absolutely. If anything, they need to take a point off Butter. But Remy is actually, you know, and I couldn't really see, but I don't think Remy yeah, I think, really got I think hit. we need a replay, because Remy seems like he doesn't want to get up. Here okay. comes the replay right here. Talk us through it, right? Well, as we can see, obviously, Bada is on there, throwing uppercut, right hand, and he ends up catching that and takes him down. With a leg and, pull. And right here, none of those shots really land. No, he just uh, stepped on his stomp. face. I can't believe no, he, he, he just foot stumped him. <laughs> it wasn't the shot, it was a foot stomp. Went right on, on his, his face. Head. On his face. Ernesto, you yeah. live in Holland. You know Bada yeah. Hari better than any of us. What yeah. the hell was going through his mind doing a foot stomp in the final of a fallen opponent? I don't know. I think uh, the fact that he knows he's, he's, uh, he's uh, behind on points, he's going back to some kind of street mentality. Yeah, Do you think he's trying adrenaline. to maybe deliberately get himself disqualified? No, I cannot no. believe that. I well, cannot believe here's that. Here's the sad thing about this. It's, um, there's no sportsmanship in that. And then number two, it's just not good for the sport to see things like this. Okay. Now, Remy is in the corner in front of our commentary position with the ringside positions. Bana Hari is standing in the opposite corner. Now, Bana is actually smack talking. Yeah, yeah, he's so saying, Remy, he's saying stop being a sissy and get up. Bana's going over to Remy and Kakuta's having to restrain him here. And this, uh, I have never seen something like that happen. At this level in the K1 Grand Prix final, not in the final, I mean, not, Butter, is a, Butter is a bad boy, but I yeah. never expected that from Butter. Well, no, you know what, sportsmanship aside, I have to go with Ray. I don't think Remy is as hurt as he's pretending to be. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. No, no, he shouldn't no, have done that. No, no, I totally agree. You know, it doesn't, um, it doesn't excuse what Butter did. You know what I mean? But we've seen Remy, you know, milk something before. And again, I can't, you know, say 100% yeah, that he's looking it now. Nevertheless, Bada did, I mean, shouldn't have done what he did. Of course. I mean, he, he took him down like Randy Couture style, you know, with a leg pull. And Well, I mean, I, I think for a second there, I thought he thought it was MMA. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he thought he fought MMA. I mean, oh, maybe he well, yeah. was dynamite. Is it dynamite yet? I'm maybe he want to start a new career. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's uh, the Kimbo slice. Um, <laughs> the Kimbo uh, effect. Effect, you know what I mean? Him being in your prison. <laughs> <laughs> well, Badahari is ready to go here. Maybe Badahari Now, I've just been informed, guys, that Remy will get a five-minute interval if he needs it to recover. Let's have a look again. Ernesto, you take us through what you see here. Oh, I think uh, Bader is uh, full of it now, and I really don't know what, what he's doing now. Why? The foot stomp astounds me. Oh, well, the foot stomp was... astounds me. Honestly, there's nothing there, no. though. No, nothing. there's nothing there, but still, you know, very he shouldn't have done no, that. Exactly. I mean, it is, that is very disrespectful. No, Com absolutely. No, yeah. I totally agree. Completely unprofessional, uncalled yeah. for. But yeah. Remy's milking it. Oh, Remy, <laughs> Remy is milking it for sure. It, not, come on, he barely pushed <laughs> it. Doesn't mean he has to do it. You know, the, he got a yellow card. It's 10% off his fight You know, I, I thought Al Pacino was a great actor. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, Remy is good. <laughs> Now, he played the movie. So. Oh, well, yeah. Remy is good. So the doctor's just doing a vision test here on Remy. I mean, just.